So what's the fan reaction being like to Battlefield 3 in Australia? Amazing to be honest. It's to come half around the world and to get met by this uh, this love I would say. It's it's a quite unique audience down here since it seems like everyone really wants you to succeed. Uh, it's it's passionate and it's caring. So uh, it's just been a very very great week down here. Now you've worked on Battlefield for a little while now. What have you learned since working on the Battlefield franchise? Oh, there's so many things. It's uh, to start with, it's not your game. You're not the customer. So to learn to listen to the customers, of course, you need to, to you need to trust your craftsmanship. You need to to trust the people around you and build up a good kind of a telemetry culture to validate data. But in the end, you build the game for someone out there, and and uh, yeah, it's for them you build it. Uh, make sure you do the right thing. Cool. Now you mentioned culture a little bit, and you've obviously got your your social features that are built into Battlefield. How hard is it to develop like a, a social media tool for a video game like Battlefield? I think the social part's always been there from the very first Battlefield. Uh, I mean, multiplayer especially make people kind of connect. Uh, we've taken strides towards it, but it's really parts of it has been under our kind of control, but the rest has been spread all over the net in different shapes and forms. This time around, with the battle log, which we've been working on for quite some time, it's really in one place. And I think a testament to this was the open beta where yes it was a beta but it really proved us that we had the whole thread about kind of what's working or not in the forum uh, we had the social kind of networking going on people got the feed everything was happening within the battle log uh, and that makes me really happy now talking a little bit about the beta a lot of people have reported that the beta was quite buggy are you guys taking any of that feedback on board Basically every every bit. Uh, that's why our global community manager is kind of scanning the, the, the web daily to, to inform people like me of areas of improvement. Since to first first off, it was extremely buggy. Uh, we had to decide this summer whether we were to do it or not, and we decided to go ahead, separate the branch from the main game when it was still very rough, uh, to be able to to come out now and stress test the backend. We could have been clear in the messaging that this is going to be rough but in the end I'm so glad that we did it great stress testing of the back end and I mean it's been reported down here in Australia that server providers didn't only have to double triple but even quadruple their server farms to meet the demand of servers and that that's not news that you want to have on the day of launch and for us we got to validate our back end we had a lot of fixes to do uh, we got to test our telemetry system and start up the, the discussion with the community since a lot of feedback on bugs, what they liked, what they wanted to see improved. And then taking into the consideration that the team had then already been working for months with the main game and kind of polished most of this away. Uh, and then we just suck with a handful of things that we need to take with ourselves uh, for the future. Now you talk about being able to predict uh, the server demand. How do you actually predict server demand for a game that's not even out yet? I think uh, it's a combination of experience, uh, predictions, uh, and a lot of wounded, to be honest. Great, or luckily nowadays, uh, both dice have grown, so we have operations team who are dedicated to look into this and uh, to the product post-launch. And also with the whole organization of EA behind us, uh, we've been working hard basically since the beginning of the project to just be on top of things like this. Have there been anything come out of the beta that's really surprised you, like something that's caught you off guard that you've never even thought about doing? A part of it was actually the, the, the pacing of how quickly people scored. So that's part of what we're tweaking and tuning based on that. Uh, it's amazing to see. People, people put some serious hours into this game. How many people were, were aiming for the top level of the beta? To be honest, I don't know. Uh, our community manager have a lot of the data, but uh, I think there was, was it 19 million uh, dog tags taken? That's a pretty impressive number on how dedicated people were going in there. So overall, 
overall great success and and we're so extremely uh, kind of grateful to the community who put in these hours and bothered to to report bugs create lists of things that please dice improve this since that's that's what making it a great game and we can check our lists of things already fixed so the game's coming out next week and you've already you've you're pretty much implementing the feedback from the beta now what's the morale like in the studio like what's the vibe there yeah so, so to make it clear I mean t there's very few things uh, I wouldn't say that we're, we're taking the feedback and doing it now since we have I mean we have a finished game uh, so so uh, there's more kind of key takeaways and tunes uh, so the, the the feeling in the studio right now is a lot of anticipation yeah. people are still working hard for how, securing the launch and what's going to come down the road but it's great anticipation it's a smell of success in the air but you're always always nervous you don't really know do I dare to to trust my feelings or not and uh, what are your feelings <laughs> that we might be on to something good. <laughs> now, a lot of people, you, I'm sure you're more than aware of the whole Modern Warfare comparisons. Do you get a little bit sick of being compared to Modern Warfare 3 and like all the comparisons that are people drawing? Yeah, to be honest, that's something that's been flying up here. We, I mean, we've been doing this for 12 years. We have fullest respect for, for them and all the other game makers out there. We know what they're going through and they know what we're going through. So uh, we have to focus on our race. We can't look at the competitors to that extent since then we're gonna stumble and fall uh, so I think in the studio it's been more focused on chipping a good game than, than listening to the whole bus going on out there and once the game shipped what will you be doing uh, to be honest I'm gonna have a, a longer vacation playing the game I probably can't stay out of the office totally but yeah some some relaxation to, to recover from a, a tough crunch I kind of saying that you're gonna play the game on your vacation brings up a question of Having made the game for a few years and then playing the game once it's out in your own time, do you get a little bit bored of it after a while? Like just working on something for so many years and then doing it in your spare time as well as work? No, I, I would I would say I, I still play my game since it's... I guess I'm fortunate to have a dream job and to create the game you love. And then, yes, of course I want to play it. So I'm really looking forward to play it. Actually, you know, I'm going to be home. I'm going to play the game. Of course, I'm going to have to play all the other great games coming out this this fall. So uh, a lot of gaming, a lot of playing with the kids, and you know, read books and odd things you don't uh, haven't had time to do for a long time now. When you play Battlefield, do you play anonymously, or do you do you make it known who you are when you play online? I think my my tag has uh, started to occur more and more in me media, so I'll I'll be less and less private, uh, and I don't mind. It's good fun. I like meeting people on the battlefield. And now you also mentioned that you'll be playing a lot of other games this year, this Christmas. What else are you looking forward to? Out of the titles coming. Oh. Everything from you know Forza, Uncharted. There, there's a million games coming that I'm just extremely uh, interested in playing.